I'm getting ready to host my first ragu party. Tonight we're having a Labor Day cookout, but instead of going for the typical uh, burgers and hot dogs and fried chicken and whatever else, um, because it's a long weekend and because there are events every night of the weekend, I'm going a little different and I wanted to be sure to use ragu, so we are having a make your own pizza party. I uh, totally bought out the stock of Boboli um, mini pizza crusts. They're the 8 inch crusts. I bought the final nine at the grocery store today and it was noon, so maybe they got a second shipment, who knows. Um, they had nine left and so I bought two large ones uh, so that everyone will be able to have their own um, pizza. And we're all going to take a pizza crust. We're going to drench it with, oh, I'm going to grill the pizza crust once everyone gets here. Um, I learned that from Ragu's website that if you grill it for one minute on the top and then you top it, it gives it a little crunch. You top it with all of your toppings, then you put it back on the grill for three minutes and you take it off and you have a grilled pizza and it's really good. So we're going to make it that way. We have choices of traditional ragu so pizza sauce and we have ragu pizza sauce homemade style and then we also have the ragu, uh, <laughs> light ragu tomato basil. So people have their choices of their sauces. When I went to town, I made, I grilled um, peppers of all different colors, I grilled zucchini, I made hamburger meat, and uh, what else do I have? I shredded provolone, um, we have fresh mozzarella, fresh parmesan, fresh um, tomatoes, local tomatoes chopped up into small pieces, um, pepperoni, salami, all different toppings, lots of different things. So everyone's going to be making their own pizzas and we're going to take pictures to share all the different pizzas people make. Oh, we also have mushrooms. I don't even think they're going to get open. So it's going to be a fun